Hi YouTubers, this is my first official video and this is um, my natural hair journey. Um, never mind the bump, I am almost six months. Um, my hair is naturally curly, you can see. Um, I've always had naturally curly hair. Um, this is my first official big chop, really close cut. I cut my hair on March 8th and it was really close like a guy's haircut. You see nothing but scalp. And this is how much it's grown back since. Um, today is March 31st. Um, I am going on 42. Um, I've been wearing my hair back and forth, uh, short, long. Um, I do hair. So it's nothing for me to cut my hair off. It grows really fast. I don't take vitamins or anything like that. I'm taking prenatal vitamins now for the baby, but not for my hair. And I got into the whole natural thing. Uh, my sister started taking hair affinity about five months ago, and I started looking at all of the videos and biotin users and natural beauties with the long curly hair. And I've never... I always, uh, since my hair has been curly through the years, since I was 22 cutting my hair short, I text locks. Um, wasn't like a full relaxer, but I never really straightened my hair either. I uh, don't like the smell of it, don't like the feel of it per se, and I just always have loved uh, curly hair. So when I was 22, when Total came into effect, the group Total, um, the light skin chick, I can't remember her name, but... Um, I cut my hair short like hers, but it wasn't this short. Um, probably about an inch or two longer. So throughout the years, um, if I wanted a different look, I would cut my hair. Never had a problem with it. Um, but this go around, what made me want to cut my hair really close was Shameless Maya. About a year ago, I saw that she had um, cut her hair off really, really close with the help of her friend. So my husband and I... Um, I woke up and I was just like, I really want to cut my hair short. And he was like, is this a pregnancy thing, a hormone thing? I said, I don't know. I just really want to cut it off. And backtrack, I got married a year ago in May. Two weeks after my wedding, I cut my hair short because it was shedding. And I'll try to include pictures later. Um, I tried to upload a video that was of slideshows and I had music playing in the background and for some reason I couldn't do it. It was like a copyright thing. So it wouldn't let me upload. So I'm doing a video with no music and I'll see if I can get the pictures in so you'll see the beginning of when I did get my hair cut up until now. Um, and I can go back in future videos if I do one and put in where my hair was longer. Um, the longest my hair has ever been was at the top of my tattoo, which is a weed leaf, and it hit right about there. The front's hit down here at my African signs, and I colored it, I got the Dominicans to color it blonde, more like street. And between that and me having a miscarriage, the hormones and everything, I think it started to break off. So I, this was a couple of years ago. So I cut my hair short then. Grew back um, right before the, uh, after the wedding. Same thing, shedding. Um, I think it's from text slicing because um, I didn't really need to do it. I always just thought that my curls were so, and they weren't even really that tight like a 4B um, or C. I just thought they were too tight for me. I always wanted the for it to hang and it had a lot of shrinkage. And around May 25th of last year is when I cut it, grew back, and I had this about this much hair. It hit the back of my neck and curly, it looked like a curly afro. And that's when I just decided I don't want any relaxers, period. Close cut it all off so I can see how it starts to grow in. And I colored it and everything, and this is how it has started to grow back in. So, we're going to see what 
happens from this. And like I said, it grows pretty pretty fast. Um, you couldn't see anything but scalp when I cut it a few weeks ago and a lot of curls in, so I'm happy about that. So YouTubers, if you would like to see any future videos, um, I will post some up if I can get the exact hang of it. And um, I have a three-year-old who has really, really curly hair also. I think he's like a 4A. Um, he gets a lot of shrinkage. Um, I do twist. Um, he wears it out a lot so I don't like braids with pulling the hair. And um, I'm going to, after the baby, I'm going to start taking biotin pills plus my prenatal vitamins. I have no issues with my nails growing as you can see. These are my natural nails. Um, they've always been long. I guess it runs in the family. My mom, my grandmother, they all had really long nails. And after the pregnancy, I'm going to cut them down just so I can pick up the baby more and not uh, scratch or poke. But for right now, since baby's not here, which is another boy, um, like I said, I am going on 42, and my husband is 27, so this is his second. My three-year-old is his first. I have a 22-year-old son and a 17-year-old daughter, so yes, I completely started over, but ooh, we'll see how this works out. Um, back to this hair thing. My hair crushes, like, I've been obsessed with looking at these videos. Um, in the last three months, almost four months since I found out about Hair Affinity and Bodies and Pills and all the natural beauties that were on YouTube, I have seen hundreds and hundreds of videos. It's like I'm obsessed. I watch the videos every day. And even though I've cut my hair off, I still watch the videos every day. It's nice to find out information and uh, products to use. Um, as I have always had the curly hair, before I found out about a lot of products a few years ago, I was always using um, activator gel. And I didn't like the greasiness of it. And then I um, came up on one called Shine activator gel and it wasn't greasy, wasn't flaky, um, but it did make my hair feel kind of hard and crunchy. Um, then I found a few products, um, Big Sexy Curls, and that was okay and then it got a little greasy, made my scalp itch. And then since watching the videos, I found how to mix products and um, just new different stuff that I could use in my hair. And my little man just came in now. Say hi. 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 And these are his natural coils. Yes. I uh, twisted it uh, two days ago. Uh, stayed pretty good. And I don't know if I'm going to take it out or not. His hair does not tangle. Per se, even is really, really thick. That's how kind of long comes down his back when it's out. But I've never uh, did anything other to it. I co wash it, comb it out, easy comb out. I'm grateful for that. But <laughs> he uh, doesn't give me any problem with doing his hair. As long as he's watching some type of cartoon or TV show, he's fine. But, um, I will see some YouTubers with an update on how the hair has grown in much more and hopefully um, in the next couple of years, I know because I've cut my hair before, within a year or two, um, my hair has come here and here. So we'll see how this thing works out with no text lags, any other chemicals I haven't used. Um, I have um, colored my hair. Um, I don't know if you can really see it in this light, but it's red, and I'm digging on it. So, nice speaking with you, YouTubers. See you soon.